Um, in terms of how I think attitudes have changed, and I can speak really from um, the 1990s through the noughties and obviously till, till now, is that, um, and this is a personal view, is that there was probably a need for um, a separate um, social network, um, including venues, support, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, for um, homosexual people, basically. Um, and I think that that's changing, and I really would question the need for that now from a personal perspective. Um, and I think, I think people's attitudes have changed significantly. Um, and I think, you know, if we look at well, what are the key drivers around that, I think the civil partnership thing was a massive driver in that. Just people's um, more willingness to be open about it and therefore um, the, a large volume of people being, you know, having friends or family that, you know, are, are gay basically. And, you know, the more people are exposed to it, the more they realise that, well, it's not really, you know, uh, any difference to any, to any other issue. Um, I'm, on the other hand, I am fully aware that there are, you know, that there is still a lot of persecution that goes on. Um, you know, probably um, in and around um, people that are, are, are of different religions, etc. I suppose my comments relate to the fact that I'm not exposed to that. So, from my personal perspective, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, I'm very, you know, lucky, lucky or thankful that I don't really see it as a an issue. Um, I don't think being gay really defines me or who I am or what I do.